So the past day and a half were a really um, excellent opportunity to hear from a number of the major schools of social work, about four or five, who came as the second part of this initiative to talk about what the schools of social work were actually doing with you know, the use of art within social work practice, whether it's clinical practice, community practice, or community and social systems practice. What was really exciting was that there were a variety of kinds of genres and, and, and kinds of forms. Some of the schools, for example, had a very, very focused kind of perspective in art for clinical practice. Other programs were much more, much wider ranging. They also brought with them their core community partners, their core art partners. So in addition to the schools of social work, um, some of the partners also brought with them deans from the schools of art and design. Um, there were also people here representing museum partners and also foundation partners as well. And there were also students as well too, and we've heard from some of those student experiences. So there was a really well-rounded sense of partnership. I think the other piece that was also very, very good to know and good to see was that the schools of social work really are taking this notion of art as community practice very seriously. They're thinking about ways that this impacts the curriculum. They're thinking about ways it impacts the field. Um, we're thinking about ways that it impacts faculty and both current faculty as well as incoming junior faculty and, and faculty in doctoral programs. There's also concern about different kinds of implications for field practicum. There's implications for students that are entering the program to make sure that once they graduate with a set of skills, they actually have places to use those um, and they have jobs for those programs, for those opportunities as well.